Question number five, part A, from Pure Mathematics 2, practice paper A, international A-level. Um, here we have binomial expansion. Find the first three terms in ascending powers of x of the binomial expansion of 2 minus x over 2 to, uh, to the power of 7, giving each term in its simplest form. Now, there's two methods that people use. The most common method is called the NCR method. I'm going to show you the method that I prefer, and I've mentioned this a couple of times already, that I prefer this method because this works whether you have a positive power, a negative power, a fractional power. We don't deal with anything except positive um, integer powers when we're dealing with um, P2, but when you get to P4, you're going to have to deal with negative and also um, fractional powers where the NCR button doesn't work in your calculator and you're forced to use this particular method. So this method works no matter what power you have and also it's much easier to deal with uh, questions in this form um, when uh, you have an unknown for the power and you've got a question where, for example, you don't know what the power is and you, you know what some terms are. This method makes life a bit easier. Okay, so the formula is actually in your formula book and it, and it looks something like this. 1 plus x to the power of n equals 1 plus nx plus n times n minus 1 over 2 factorial times whatever x is squared, let's put that in a bracket for now, plus n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 over 3 factorial times x cubed. And it follows in that same pattern. The next one will be n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3 to the, over 4 factorial x to the power of 4. So it follows that same pattern. Now we're only concerned about the first three terms, which would be one, two, and three, these three terms up to the x squared term. Okay, so, but what you have to be careful of is that this should say one here. It can't say anything else. So here you have two minus x over two. So that has to say one. It doesn't matter about the plus, no problem. But this term is whatever's in this place here. But once that has become one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, okay, I've got two plus x over two to the power of 7 equals. Now I'm going to take out a 2 from these from this bracket basically. So I'm going to take out the 2. I'll be left with a 1 here. 2 times 1 is 2. I've got to also take it away from this term or take it out of this term. Now if I take it out of this term, okay, I've got to think to myself um, what times 2 will give me x over 2? Well, x over 4, I have to divide by 2, because 2 times x over 2 will give me x over 2. So 2 times, um, so 1 plus x plus 4 is what's inside the bracket, and you got all of that is raised to the power of 7. This is actually the same as that. If you, if you expand this, you're going to have 2 plus 2x over 4, which is x over 2, all to the power of 7. So I can take out this, or I can separate this as 2 to the power of 7 times 1 plus x over 4 to the power of 7. Okay, and now this is in... Okay, look, what did I do? Something very silly. There's a minus here, and I wrote a plus. That would have made the whole thing wrong. So you've got to be very careful about doing that. That's a minus, that's a minus, and that's a minus. Be very, very careful. It's very easy to make a silly mistake like that, which costs marks. Anyway, so now I've got 2 to the power of 7 times, and then I'll have all of this so now I'm going to expand that according to this pattern. I have a 1 in that place, and instead of x, I'm going to have minus x over 4. So instead of this x, the x has become minus x over 4, whatever's in this place here, including its sign. Okay, so I've got 1 plus n, which is 7. n is the power, which is 7, times whatever's in the place of the x, which is minus x over 4. Okay, plus, and then you're going to have 7 times 6 times 2 factorial, which is 2 times 1, times, and you're going to have minus x over 4 squared. And that's as far as I need to go, because this is the first term, the second term, the third term. And it says the first three terms. Okay, so now I have 2 to the power of 7, which I guess I could calculate now. 2 to the power of 7, that's uh, 128, I think. Yeah, 128. You got 128, and you got 1 minus 7x over 4. Now, I'm not going to 
um, rush to deal with this thing. I'll just cancel that. I can cancel from here. That's a three. So that's like plus 21 times, and this is going to become minus x is squared will give you plus x squared, and 4 squared is 16. Okay, because sometimes when you rush to do it, you like start cancelling from here and here. This has got to be squared first, so don't make don't be in a rush to do anything here. So now I can basically simplify 128 times 1 is 128. 128 times minus 7 over 4. So 128 times 7 over 4 is 224, so that's going to be negative um, 224x. And 128 times 21 over 16. 128 times, what was it? 21 over 16. That gives us 168, so you have plus 168x squared. So we've done up to the first three terms. Okay, so we've answered part one of the question, or part A of the question. Now I'm going to show you also how to use the NCR method. Okay, because um, some people prefer that. All right, and it is actually not a big problem. It's fine, it's perfectly fine, it's perfectly acceptable for you to do it. I just try to encourage my students before we get to uh, a, A2. Right, so when you get to P4, you're familiar with these methods. So you have 2 minus x over 7, uh, x over 2, sorry, to the power of 7. 2 minus x over 2 to the power of 7. Let me put them up. 2 minus x over 2 to the power of 7. That's what we have to expand. And if you use the NCR method, basically, all right, you're going to start with 7 and 0 for the first term. Okay, and you take the first term and you raise it to the highest power, which is 7. And the second term, you raise it to the lowest power, which is 0. Okay, that's always what n is. And this starts with the highest power, and the second term always has the lowest power. So that's going to give you 7, NCR for 7, 0 is 1. And 2 to the power of 7 is 128, and anything to the power of 0 is 1, so that gives you 128. Okay, if you, if you don't know how to use NCR button, it's right here. It's this one just below the AC, the, the cancel, just put below the off button, the AC button. So you press, basically, um, to do NCR, you press 7, Shift, C, 0, and that's going to give you 1. Okay, so 1 times 2 to the power of 7 times 1 gives you 128. And then you do the same for the second term, which is going to be 7 and 1. So that keeps increasing. This goes down by 1, this becomes 6, and this goes up by 1, this becomes minus x over 2 to the power of 1. So 7c1 is going to be 7 times 2 to the power of 6 is going to be uh, 64, and this is going to give you minus x over 2. So you can check 7c2, 7c1, sorry, gives you 7, okay? and you're going to have times 2 to the power of 6, okay, which gives you 448, okay, um, and you've got to divide that by 2, gives, gives you 224, it's negative, negative 224x, so that's the second term, okay, which is what we found up here, right, 128 minus 224x, and for the third term, you're going to have 7 and 2, this keeps going up by 1, that stays as 7, this keeps going down by 1, so that's 2 to the power of 5. And this keeps going up by 1, so that becomes minus x over 2 to the power of 2. Okay, so the 7c2, okay, if you wanted to find 7c2, you press 7, shift, NCR button, 2, gives you 21, so that's 21, times three, uh, 2 to the power of 5 is 32 and times, and you've got minus x squared, which gives you positive x squared over 4. So you end up with 21 times 8, basically. 21 times 32 divided by 4, which gives you 168x squared. So therefore, we can say that 2 minus x over 2 to the power of 7 is equal to 128 minus 224x 
plus 168x squared. Okay, which is what we got there. Same thing. Okay, it's just a different method of doing it. As I said, I personally prefer to get students using this because of the fact that this will be of no use in P4 because you can't use the NCR button for fractions or negative numbers. Okay, now that's um, part A done. Now let's move on to part B, which is just a small little explanation. So let me, I think we need to take this with us to the next question. Um, so I'll just take this so we can see what's happening. All right, so I'll turn over the page and it says explain how you would use um, your expansion to give an estimate for uh, 1.995 to the power of 7. Okay, so basically they'll ask you to find the value of it, but I'm going to do both because just suppose, supposing the question did ask that. I'm going to do it just for the sake of your understanding. So basically what would you do is you would say let 2 minus x over 2 equal 1.995 because that's what we want to raise to the power of 7. So this is raised to the power of 7. So find what the value of x is so that 2 minus x over 2 equals 1.995. So we're going to have 2 minus 1.995 okay, equals x over 2. So we'll then say um, 2 minus 1.995 995, it's like 0 0.005, I think. Um, yeah, it's just to make sure. One second, shift this, shift that, 0 0.005. So you have 0 0.005 equals x over 2. So we multiply both sides by 2. So x is equal to this times 2, which is 0 0.01. Okay, 0 0.01. So x equals 0 0.01. So what we have to do is, the, this question is just say substitute, substitute x equals 0 0.01 into our expansion, which is 1, 2, 8 into, into 1, 2, 8 minus 2, 2, 4 x plus 1, 6, 8 x squared. So that's all you have to do in this question, because this is explain how you would use your expansion okay but if you wanted to actually find it this is like extra here it's not part of the answer but if you want to actually find it you would just say 128 minus 224 oops what's going on here minus 224 times 0 0.01 plus 168 times 0 0.01 squared and then that would give you an approximate value of the expansion so you have 128 minus 224 times 0 0.01 plus 168 times 0 0.01 squared okay and that gives you 125.7768 125.7768 Six, eight, and then you'd round to whoever they want you to round it. So this is extra, it's not actually asking the question, it's just saying, explain how you would use it. So it's basically, you would find out what value x is for this to become 1.995. And then you would then use the value of x to substitute into your expansion, and it will give you an approximate value because it's not exact because it's not complete. If you had got the whole thing written out all the way, the whole expansion up to the last power of seven, then you would get the exact value. Okay, so there we have the answer for part B of this question. And I think that's it. Is that it or is there more? Is there part C? No. Okay.